Hello. Um, I'm not feeling great today and I'm very insecure about my appearance, so let's not comment on it, thank you. But we're doing a q and A. I I asked you guys to send in questions, I have no idea what necessarily you, you, you've asked, whether it's personal, whether it's just fandom stuff, I have no idea, but I love doing Q&As, so I thought we could do one as we're nearing the end of Vlogmas, so let's go. First question is deeply important, have you ever randomly seen a kangaroo? Yeah, quite a lot. It's it's more common in Australia to randomly see koalas. They're like everywhere. They're in a lot of trees. I've seen koalas crossing the road. But like kangaroos, you see a lot as well. It's a very scary thing when you're driving and a kangaroo will just hop in the road. Um, And it ha happens. I live like right in the suburbs, so it doesn't happen as much as if I lived further into like the country. It does still happen quite a bit, unfortunately. But yeah, you, you see kangaroos around. They're... they're there's a lot of them here. Who are your roommates? So my family. I still live at home. I just turned 19 and I don't know. I cannot afford to move out. Uh, when I do, I'm sure you guys will know, but I will move out as soon as it is like realistically affordable for me. But yeah, currently I'm still with my fam. My typical day routine though, um, depends on the day. Lately, it's pretty much just been eventually drag myself out of bed from the depression. <laughs> Get up, put on some makeup, make a coffee, uh, film TikToks if that's what I'm doing i'll put get into cosplay otherwise i'll typically try and write for a couple hours um because i'm not studying or anything at the minute so just to be productive i'll try and write for a couple hours or i'll film something for this uh try and do something productive a lot of the time i will stream um around afternoonish time for me and then just watch some clone wars read a book have dinner go to sleep <laughs> would you rather go to hogwarts and learn magic or go to camp half-blood and learn to fight and kill monsters i would honestly rather go to camp half-blood I think that might be a little bit controversial. I would rather Camp Half-Blood. How long have you been cosplaying for? November 3rd was my year anniversary of cosplaying. I cosplayed for the first time in on November 3rd last year, 2019. So I'm still very much so a new cosplayer. I've been obsessed with the cosplay community forever and wanted to cosplay for years and years and years. I'd owned an Annabeth cosplay for a long time and I own a very, very bad Age of Ultra and Wanda cosplay that I might use if I get a better wig for it. But I've been obsessed with cosplay for a long time, but I didn't have the, the, the guts to actually cosplay until last year. And then I immediately became enraptured with it and it became my favorite thing in the world. Who's your favorite character from the MCU? Peter Parker is my favorite character from anything. I really, really love Wanda Maximoff as well. Steve Rogers, Natasha Romanoff, and Tony Stark will forever have intense places in my heart, but I also really love Shuri recently. I actually really love Nebula too. I do love Bucky Barnes, but I hate that that's so fucking predictable of me. Who is your favorite character from Stranger Things? This changes a lot. Um, it used to be Hopper, but I really didn't like his character in season three. Uh, Steve and Robin are like really really up there for me. Out of the kids, I love Max and Dustin the most, I would say. But for a long time it was Hopper, um, but I really hated what they did with his character in season 3, so hopefully season 4 will make me love him as much as I used to again. You could only read a single book or book series for the rest of your life, which one would it be? The Percy Jackson series. I genuinely don't think I'll ever get tired of it. I've read it at least once a year since I first read it, and that was I think 8 years ago. So I feel like I'll be pretty okay with, with just reading Percy Jackson forever. There's five of them, that's enough. Would you prefer to make the PGO show animated instead of live action? Yes. Any creative projects in the work slash ideas for the future? Songs, stories, videos, etc. I'm constantly writing songs. Not that those are things that see the light of day. Those are very private things, but that's kind of how I process emotion. I've written like five songs in the past week because I've been having an emotional week. Yeah, I write songs constantly, but that's not necessarily something you see. I've been writing a lot of songs, but those are, you know, um, something I'll share. Um, I have a, lot, a couple of cosplays coming up like soon uh, that I'm really excited for. I'm trying to focus a lot on cosplay right now because cosplay does make me really really happy and I feel like most people do know me from TikTok and I want to prioritize it more and make better content on there because I haven't been super happy with what I've been making on there lately. It costs money so that's like the thing that's going the way but I'm trying to be a little bit of that. I am in my private time working on a book not that that's going anywhere but I enjoy writing and it's just been a fun little personal creative endeavor. In terms of videos I'll have the Heroes of Olympus reading vlog starting probably just sometime after Christmas around the new year I'll start filming those and get those out as quickly as I can. I hopefully at some point soonish will finish fucking redecorating my bedroom and have a room tour. I want to do a video that's like reading the original screenplay for the Lightning Thief movie which is even worse than the movie we got and I want to do some videos that kind of focus on on or around other fandoms as well. I'll probably, I'm going to Sydney in January, probably do a couple of vlogs while I'm there in terms of video stuff, but yeah, thank you for asking. Peter Parker or Miles Morales? I love Miles, but Peter has been my comfort character since I was like eight years old, so I kind of do have 
very much so a bias towards Peter, but I really, really love Miles as well. Also, not a question, but you're awesome. Thank you. And I've written hi, Goofy. Oh, this Apollo. Are you are you on a daughter of Apollo? I can. You've just written courtesy as a daughter of Apollo. I saw that now, but I could tell. Ash is amazing, even better than Blue Food. Cabin Seven rules. Cabin Seven does rule, one, but I would not say that I'm better than Blue Food. Oh my goodness, no. Can you give me a TV show wreck for the Christmas break? The Boys on Amazon, if you have it. If not, like any sitcoms, great. The Good Place, Brooklyn Nine Nine, Community, all gods here. You could choose which universe would you want to be a part of? The MCU, I think. High school Spider Man slash college Spider Man or adult Spidey? Adult Spidey. I love adult Spidey and I hate that we don't see him that much in adaptations. It's something I love so much about PS4 to actually get to see adult Spidey because, for the most part in the comics, like if Peter is an adult, I'm so used to Peter being an adult and it's, it's odd that adaptations seem to want him to only be in high school for so long. It's. Uh, yeah, it's interesting. Have you ever seen the musical Hamilton? Not in person because I'm a broke Australian who can't afford to travel overseas for theatre. I wish, but I have watched it literally about 300 times on Disney+. Plus. I've been obsessed with the cast recording since 2016, so yeah, I was very excited about it. And I've seen bootlegs because before the, you know, pro shop, we, I had to watch bootlegs. If you could turn into a 12 year old in 2020, would you try it to be Annabeth in the new Percy Jackson show? I would, yeah, probably. I don't think I'd love being 12 again, that wasn't a good time, but if it gave me an opportunity to audition for Annabeth, I would. How is Percy doing? He's well. He's currently asleep on some towels in the room over, which is, he's pretty much always asleep on my bed, asleep on towels, asleep in our attic, or is just running around anywhere, like to anyone's guess to where he is. Pretty much where he is all the time, or he's eating. I was wondering if you have any advice about getting a cat, so I'm gonna get one one day. First of all, love that for you. Please give me updates when you do. Get everything ready before you adopt the cat. That's something that everyone said to me, and I'm very glad that I did, was I just made sure that I had everything I needed, and I did all my research prior to adoption, so I knew what foods to get him, and I already had beds and scratching towers and litter boxes. I had all of that ready and I'd done my research on them, which made me feel a lot more prepared. That's the main piece of advice. And also just like love the shit out of them. Give them a good life, please. How would you rank Tales of the albums, including Folklore and Evermore? Folklore and Red are same top tier for me. Then Speak Now, then Evermore, then Reputation, then this changes constantly, by the way. Fearless then Lover, then 1989, then Debut. It changes constantly for me, but I think that's my current ranking of them. What are some of your favorite all-time characters? Um, Amy Pond from Doctor Who, The Doctor from Doctor Who, Jesse Jackson, Annabeth Chase, uh, Hazel Levesque, uh, Piper McLean, Leo Valdez, um, 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 Magnus Chase, Alex Fierro, Peter Parker, Wanda Maximoff, Tony Stark, only in the MCU though, Natasha Romanoff, uh, Steve Rogers, the Gwen Paul from the Unbelievable Gwen Paul comics, Gwen Stacy, Mary Jane Watson, Richie Tozier, Beverly Marsh, Mike Hanlon, Eddie Kasprak, Harley Quinn, Rapunzel, Rap Eugene Fitzherbert, uh, Cassandra from Tangled, Megara from Hercules, um, Mulan, um, 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 Princess Leia, Grogu, R2-D2, Din Jardin, um, the Padme Amidala, Anakin Skywalker but only in the Clone Wars, Ahsoka Tano, um, just Stitch, uh, um, I have too many fandoms for this to be a question, fuck. If you had to remove one of the songs from Lightning Thief, one of the good ones, not the Minotaur or the Way to Storm Prize, Way to Slender the Minotaur, I love that song. Could I add in one of the cut songs, would you do it, and if so, which songs? As a second question, how do you want Disney Plus to go about the theme song for Percy Jackson? I mean, I don't know that we necessarily need a theme song, but if you're gonna do one, have Rob write it. I would probably take out their sign and put in try because i think try is a perfect representation of the bond between percy annabeth and grover that i would really have loved to see and uh, have loved to see and their sign is a nice moment but i feel like you could have just conveyed that through dialogue ever more a folklore a folklore if you had a chance to leave Australia, pretending there isn't a pandemic and you could go anywhere you wanted, where would you go? You could also stay in Australia. I would go to, I would want to go to all the Disney parks, specifically probably Disney World Florida. Do you think Octavian would have been a better character if you had more time? Yeah. In an earlier video, you mentioned that you were considering writing a novel. Sharing undeveloped creative work on the internet be, can be kind of a minefield, but as someone who's hella into writing, I've been intrigued ever since. Is there any more you feel comfortable telling us about that? Uh, it's YA, which is weird because I hate reading YA, but you know, it's the most comfortable setting of characters as someone who is you know still a teenager it's a lot easier to write about teenage experiences for me so it's a YA novel um it's sapphic because again write what you know and it involves murder it's just kind of a creative project it's not something that I'd, I'm you know necessarily think is a fantastic or 
or anything like that. It's a bit of fun for myself and I'm having a lot of fun writing it. Depends on part of the creative process you want to hear about, I'm not sure. So this isn't really a question, but I just want to say how much I enjoy Vlogmas and coming to this corner of YouTube, TikTok this last month. You're a really creative, passionate, charismatic person and I'm officially a fan now. Hope you have a Merry Christmas and his praying to Christ 2021 is less of a monumental fucking shit show. That is the nicest thing anyone said to me in a little while. Holy shit, thank you so much for watching and being here. I'm glad you've had fun. That's really kind. Just thank you. What is your favorite prehistoric creature? Why is it clearly the Gorgon Offset? Speaking of, did anyone watch fucking Primeval as a kid? Because I did. That was my introduction. And in episode one, one breaks into a kid's bedroom. His little head smashes the window. I love Primeval. What fictional universe would you survive longest in? Fucking none of them. Like, what's something safe as hell? Why did my brain say Narnia? That's not Tangled. Yeah, like something Disney. So it's like, I might be a little bit, oh no, because in Tangled, Eugene is literally going to be hung, hanged, whatever. Like fr Frozen. I feel relatively safe in Frozen. What's the best and worst part about having an online audience? Oh, this is a loaded question. The best part is like pretty, almost all of it, is getting to interact with people, getting to make friends, getting to bond with people about something I love. It really helps because I still do get insecure about my interests and about how interested in those interests I am. And it helps a lot to have people be like, no, I enjoy what you make and I relate to that. It helps a lot and it be helps me become a much more confident person. It truly does. And honestly, like having an, having an audience is something I've kind of wanted because everything I want to do um, for work is in the creative industry and that kind of goes hand in hand. It's something I've wanted since I was young. So now having that and being able to uh, just just bond with people in that way and know that people are watching what I do and what I create is really, really a gift and gets me out of bed in the morning. Like this has kind of reshaped my life in a lot of ways and saved my life in a lot of ways. Um, I've had some really dark spells this year that I kind of pulled through because I had an audience. I guess the worst part of it kind of goes hand in hand with that as, as well as it can be a lot of pressure. I have really, really shitty mental health and there are... A lot of times where I feel that I am letting my audience down by not being better and that isn't because anyone necessarily puts pressure on me it's because I feel that pressure because I want to be the best version of myself for the people watching what I make and I have a lot of people who I you know call myself the honorary big sister to when I want to be a good influence on and that goes hand in hand with making sure that I'm taking care of myself because how can I tell them to take care of themselves if I'm not doing it in the first place and I just feel a lot of pressure on bad days to be better and that I'm disappointing people and that can be uh, tough but that's on me I guess. Which Avenger is your least favourite? The Hulk, not Bruce Banner. I love Bruce Banner but I'm not a Hulk person. I like Bruce Banner but not the Hulk. Favourite musical or cast recording? Uh, probably The Lightning Thief. I really love Rent as well with The Prom, Hades Town, We Are The Tigers, Hamilton, Heathers is forever one of my favourites, I don't care. The guy who didn't like musicals. And people who have been following you for a while probably know this, but I don't see when's your birthday. October 23. What's your next cosplay going to be after Rapunzel and do you have ideas for future ones? So before the revamped Rapunzel, because it'll get probably get here before that week does, um, it will be Black Widow, Natasha Romanoff. Jenna and Peter Parker is coming soon as well because that suit is ordered. I just need to get contacts and a wig. In terms of future cosplays, I have a lot of ideas. I have a Google Doc that I will read to you of all my dream cosplays. Let's it's and it's a lot let's just quick fire read it geonosis padme captain marvel in the 2017 film the the lake on naboo her rolling around with anakin in the thingies you know the garden picnic outfit padme into the spider verse spider gwen because it could play comic gwen ashira adora black widow black cat astrid gender ben peter parker that's happening wonder maximoff gender ben ian lightfoot villain owl cinderella from the 2015 version of the little town outfit she has Ariel, the human kiss the girl outfit, Briar Rose, Leia in a New Hope, Leia in Empire, Slave Leia, Meg, Ray, gender bent Kylo, Dark Ray, Harley Quinn in the club scene from Suicide Squad, Harley Quinn about to pray with the overalls, Harley Quinn about Man the Animated Series, Harley Quinn from the 2019 cartoon, Harley Quinn from the Christmas New 52 issue, that little outfit, Poison Ivy, Regina George from the musical, Professor Higgins from the guy who didn't like musicals, Alice from the guy who didn't like musicals, Luna Lovegood, Hermione Granger, Sydney Prescott, Velma and Daphne, Gwen Paul, Amy Ponce, the Kissagram outfit, Clara Oswald, Starlight in season one, Starlight in season two, Mia Dolan, Amity Blight, Buffy Summers, and Just from Until Dawn. Would you rather be friends with Rapunzel from Tangled or Annabeth, and would you rather marry Percy or Eugene considering the love interest one alive? 
Uh, I would rather marry Percy and be friends with Rapunzel. I genuinely think me and Annabeth are too similar to be like good friends. How did you get into Percy Jackson? This is embarrassing sort of through the movies. I wanted to watch the movie because I thought Logan Lyman was cute, but I always read books before I watch the movie. So before the movie came out, I was like, I've got to read this, read it, then hated the movie, then kept reading the books. What are your top five Disney songs? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, Kingdom Dance. I'll make a man out of you. I won't say I'm in love. Belle Reprise and Mulan's Decision. The, the the song from the score of Mulan when she's like cutting off her hair and getting ready to go to war. Fucking god tier. Favorite Star Wars film? Absolutely Empire Strikes Back. Absolutely. I do really love Revenge of the Sith as well, but. Favorite singers apart from Taylor? Ooh, the thing is I don't listen to a lot of other like the artists. Um, I mostly listen to Taylor Swift and show tunes. I don't know, like Queen and Dodie and Trusivan and Wallows and Florence and the Machine and Marina and uh, oh my god I actually really don't know Harry Styles I don't know okay that was quite a few of the questions you guys asked me thank you so much to send for sending in questions these are just so much fun for me I like the ones where I get to interact with you guys a little bit more than my favorite kinds of videos to film like just quick ones like this so thank you for sending in questions I love you I'll see you very soon yeah.